Can I be honest? I don't have a backup plan. My name is Cody Parson. Uh, Whiskey Angel, I am the uh, conceptualist, front man. I sing, play guitar, and uh, I write all the songs. Everyone's told me my whole life I kind of have to go to school and make something of myself if I'm ever going to be anybody. And the way I see it is, like, there's plenty of people out there. Like, you can't decide anyone's fate. One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, Cody is my stepbrother, so I wasn't playing in any bands really. And uh, he just called me one day and said, hey, you should come jam. So I did with Mark and Dylan, our old drummer. And it was really good, so I kept coming back and just kept getting better and better all the time. Uh, we played regularly anywhere between a practice or two practices a week for about three months before we ever played a show. We got a set list together and stuff, and we played our first show at Rivers and Spires 2011. And uh, Dylan left the band that night because of uh, religious conflictions. And um, I had played with Cody Suits back in high school, but it was kind of funny because the night we were all supposed to celebrate our first gig, people started coming over and right through the back door, unbeknownst to me, my old drummer walks through the door after I just lost my first drummer. I'm not the original drummer. Well, I've been in the band a long time. I want to give Dylan credit, for sure. Dylan's a good guy. But Mighty Olson, that was our first band, me and him, but uh, this band, we've developed a lot more stuff, a lot. There's a lot of different genres in what we play, I think. I mean, not necessarily genres, I don't want to call it that, but we vary a lot in the music we play. If something happens, hopefully I'll still be friends with all these guys. Maybe I'll play music with some of them. If not, uh, probably go to school. The way we kind of see it now is like, Cody's really the original drummer, because he's been the drummer ever since the first gig, so. One, two, one, two, three, four. It sucks being in college because I don't want to be in college. It's just kind of a thing I have to do that's socially acceptable. To be frank, like I only go to school to uh, play the system. Like I, uh, I get scholarships because I, uh, you know, I, I worked and got my ACT high enough and everything. I get a hope and I get a full pill, and uh, I pay for school and anything really left over during my scholarships I use to live and to buy really nice music equipment. Playing music all the time. It's the only thing I think about. If you look at any of my books and any of things from school, I don't take notes. I, uh, it's all lyrics. This is, it's, it consumes me. It's, it's like a very unhealthy obsession. I think Whiskey Angel is probably the most passionate band in Clarksville in terms of just putting out uh, just good, passionate music, I guess. Sometimes I don't want to do schoolwork when I have to practice, but I think school is my main priority. This is my everything. It's a, uh, I like we often, me and my girlfriend often talk about it. Uh, if my band broke up, it would be like more of a mental breakdown to me than I, than ever losing a girlfriend would be. It would be way worse. Well, out above, I'm a misogynist, and she took my heart, ran off with it. Said, son, I can't tell you my plan, cause a woman kind is a devil's hand. Said, a woman kind is a devil's hand. Oh, yeah, we're gonna play a Black Sabbath cover gig for Halloween at the Coup on College Street. We're gonna play a bunch of old Black Sabbath songs from like pre-Dio Sabbath, so from 70, 75, 74. It's gonna be fun. I have confidence in it enough that um, we can do more than we're doing now, which we hope to do in the next few months anyway. If this doesn't work out and the band falls apart or something, I guess I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll pick up and move somewhere else, maybe where there's a better music scene go somewhere else where I can play music and yeah. like I have a uh, I have a really like insatiable appetite for m music gear and I think I could sell it really well so if I ever have to go down that avenue I might okay. but if I felt I could do anything else I, I feel like I would be you know I would be responsible enough to admit it but like I don't think about anything else so I can't get it out of my head I never can so I hope you guys are enjoying another Great night at your uh, friendly neighborhood, too. I'm just really ready to start playing bigger cities, man. A hard thing, Clarksville's a huge town. We really don't think about it often. 
and not enough people come out and see live music, so maybe we'll go somewhere else where there'll be a little bit more people seeing it. Hopefully. <laughs>